doing? Yeah. I am. These are all behind us. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Fascism, yes, it was about fighting evil, but it was about an idea. We have to keep that in mind. Is there any veterans that would like to say something here? I <coughs> as is my grandfather, as statistically speaking, probably many of our relatives were. There were hundreds of millions of people mobilized to kill each other. And it's a shame. My dad was a Vietnam vet. My brother was an Iraq War vet. He was AIA in Iraq in 2005. I'm a veteran. My concern is that we are here today not as a political statement, not as occupy as much as we are for recognizing our, the service our veterans gave to this great country of ours. But they have made supreme sacrifices for all of us to be free, to be standing here today, for our school teachers to be able to teach in the classroom without persecution, for our government to sit over there and make uh, laws and regulations for us to follow, that we can peaceably assemble here today under our First Amendment rights. That's what veterans have done for us. So whenever we do anything, whenever we do anything, we need to remember that the 60 million Americans that have served our great country made that possible. All things that have happened for us have been made possible by veterans who have served. Thank you. Amen. Let's Amen. Uh, move back to the side of I know. It's going to happen. I want to read a I want to read a letter that was in the New York Times. Hold on, they're already starting to be able to split up the group. Do you want to do it at the next stop? I'll do it the next stop. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. We're moving on to uh, World War One. We're moving on to World War One. <clears throat> Out of respect. <coughs> out of 
out of respect for the people that are meeting, because we have to remember, remember that this isn't just a veteran struggle and our struggle, but it's a family struggle. And I think that that's important to keep in mind, and that's why we've asked you to be respectful, and I think we're doing a good job. Can I ask for a 15 second moment of silence? says to you it was a conflict, the same as the guest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys too. I ask for a moment of silence. Get every one of those, I call them scumbags because they all are. They don't care about the average citizen anymore. They, they failed me when I got back to Vietnam. They failed us. And they failed the Iraq and Afghanistan veterans because of no jobs out there. 30% of, of veterans are on the wire today. 30% of veterans are on the wire today. And that, to me, is a damn shame. I see now where Obama, there, 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 there's something about he's trying to get private industry a lot higher, 100,000 veterans. Well, there's more than 100,000 veterans out there. Come on. And all you fellas, men, and women too, if there ain't women veterans here, I don't know. I don't know if there ain't women veterans here. You need to speak up. We had to speak up for ourselves. People didn't believe us back in the 80s about the Agent Orange. Finally, the VA found, finally recognized. I don't know how long. But Agent Orange actually causes the, uh, meloma cancers. Yes. And it actually causes diabetes. I know this. It's under the Vassar D uh, Code of Federal Regulations number 38. They, the VA recognizes it gives automatic dis disability for all Vietnam veterans under the exposure to. You're, uh, you're automatically assumed to have been exposed to Agent Orange because you all were. Right. I have two friends. Three. They've had three different camp. They were in Vietnam. One's a Marine, the other one was with the um, Big Red One. 
three times, three different cancers. I'm fortunate so far. I haven't come down with anything. But my understanding is it can lay dormant in you for years and then all of a sudden it can come out. If anybody is, Agent Orange is a chemical made to defoliate the right. ground between North Vietnam and South Vietnam and it had dioxin in it and they sprayed it from the helicopters and airplanes and anybody who was exposed to that, any animal, was impregnated with dioxin and in that chemical and it's very carcinogenic. They're going to take years to clean up the Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 but listen to me. What you need to do, I agree, I agree with the position you're taking. But you need to get up there. Tomorrow. Today's Veterans Day, so that's why I, 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 do it. Do it when they're in session, though, Tim, because tomorrow's a weekend. Tomorrow's yeah. a weekend, Sunday's a weekend day. Do it when they're Trust in session. Trust me, when our numbers are more forceful and more numerous, we are going to make sure that we pay a nice visit to our friends up on the top. Because yeah. I, myself, I am so fed up. I went off and fought for this country. As some of you fellas did, and women too, and great women vets here. I went off and fought for this country. I am so disgusted with this corrupt and money. It's all about money. Yeah. Money grieving, or not money grieving, money. The, the money, money hungry, thank you. Money hungry politicians. I am so fed up with that they don't care about the average person anymore. Well, sir, we're marching for you today and for all well, the I thank and you. sisters who served in all the wars and who have, didn't serve in wars, but the Cold War <coughs> is also a war. Yes. We're marching for you. If you can march with us, we'll march with you. If you can't march with us, we'll be there for you. Well, we have one up for where Occupy Wall Street, up where I, I'm from, too, in Hartsburg, Pennsylvania, they've been. And uh, I always beat my horn to them when I, when I go by the Capitol building, because it's the Capitol of Pennsylvania. But even, even up there, I have, I have no time for those politicians because you know, someone said to me many years ago, we have the best politicians that money can buy. And that's, <laughs> and that's the truth. <laughs> and when they steal and get away with it, which they do, which they do, if you and I would do it, we would be sitting in jail. <laughs> that's called legalized thievery for them. I'm going to uh, read a two-paragraph letter that's in relation to our observance today for veterans. Uh, the reminder that John pointed out how the veterans that we honor today protect the rights which we have in this country for freedom of speech and freedom of assembly. This comes from a gentleman in Point Reyes Station, California. It was published in the New York Times on November 3rd, eight days ago. Titled, Homeless Veterans? Letter to the Editor. Regarding your study, finding a slight decline in veterans using shelters. Parentheses, news article from October 29th. Quote, homeless veteran should be a cultural oxymoron. The mere thought of it is profane. What kind of a civil society leaves its defenders on winter streets, even for one night? Mark Dowie, D-O-W-I-E. Thank you. I think that we should break up and we'll have our flag bearer stand where we meet up, expect about 10 minutes. Is everybody okay with that? Twinkle, twinkle. Phone the Combat veterans, Vietnam, say a few words.
The truth. The truth. Tell, just tell us your story. Could be said in right on the Play them because then you're taking away from the focus on the corner activity. So I ask that you do not display those. Yeah, we do not, get, do not get into any confrontation with any of them. Perfect. Thank you. 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 Th
is a day to be somber and to remember those who are not here anymore and those who are still fighting. I mean, when they signed the Treaty of Versailles, the world was very optimistic. It was seen as finally this horrible conflict that, you know, that started and ended so many lives unnecessarily and that the world could work towards peace. So today should be a day of, of somber, of a somber mood and a day of optimism. But to, to testify to my personal experience, I was an interrogator in Iraq. I didn't have to pull the trigger on anybody. But interrogating people leaves you with a huge moral conundrum. Is you're manipulating people to basically betray their country and to hurt other people. So basically for me, it has been uh, good days and bad days. And today's like this, today, today is one of those, one of those bad days. But it's inspiring me to have people who are not veterans and veterans alike to come together and honor those. Because this might be seen as a concession to those who would like to stop us, but this struggle is really just beginning. And since so many veterans are passionate about this movement, I think today is a good day to uh, not, uh, today should be a day of peace. So I'd like to thank everyone for coming out here today and, you know, the struggle continues. Thank you. Thank you. Does anybody else have anything to say? I believe. Guy in the hat? Sorry, I had uh, Yeah, I know my. Can we, can we move on to the grass real quick so we can clean up the sidewalk for. Uh... Many of our fathers served in the service many years. My father served 35 military and civil service. Uncles served many years. They're not forgotten. Thank you. Uh, let me see a show of hands for everybody who has a member of their nuclear family that has served in any of our conflicts. See a show of hands for someone who has a member of our extended family that served in one of these conflicts. How many of you have friends that are serving right now? Um, I was fortunate enough to get a call from my best friend this morning. Um, He's in Afghanistan right now. We're planning a uh, wicked uh, ski trip when he gets back in February. And awesome. we're very hopeful and, and positive he's coming back, but he's serving right now. And I'll tell you a brief story that um, he relayed to me in one of our, our mini phone calls. Um, a, uh, a colonel, um, which typically does a, a wing or, or higher, um, the highest uh, you can get before you start getting into the Pentagon type folks, um, came through and was doing a meet and greet and shake for PR purposes or whatever. And him and his unit asked quite sincerely, what are we doing here? And the Colonel then tried to explain what the mission was, uh, uh, their particular mission, their, their uh, um, unit's mission. And they said, well, no, really, sir, like respectfully, what are we doing here? And I think that that's an important statement for them to make, because what are we doing? I mean, what did we do in any of these? There's outcomes. You, some can say they're good, some can say they're bad. I mean, I think they're bad. I mean, loss of life is a bad thing. Um, so before we leave, I'd like uh, one more moment of silence. You may, sir, sorry. Uh, I think this is really a, a great celebration and an observance of uh, veterans. And uh, I wanted to say something about uh, something that's coming up close to Thanksgiving. There's a group of uh, Wall Street protesters, I'd like to refer to them as spiritual walkers, who have left New York as of Wednesday, 12 o'clock now. Um, we spoke with one of them on the phone. They picked up another uh, 20 people, so it's up to 50. Uh, the next major stop in an Occupy site is in Scranton. They will be arriving here uh, at the White House uh, close to November 23rd, November 24th. <coughs> They're marching approximately 20 miles a day. I mentioned this today. That, uh, Occupy DC movement, veterans and non-veterans, and conscientious uh, American patriots, students. 
as well, uh, college students, uh, join <coughs> them before they get to the White House in uh, either Baltimore or a little bit closer location would be uh, College Park, Maryland. And that we're able to uh, we're able to really uh, make a make a difference heading into Thanksgiving in terms of the recognition that this movement has earned already and deserves to continue to grow and bring about a change, a permanent change in our democracy in this country. Thank you. Thank you. Before we move on, um, is everybody all right with uh, thanking the veterans via the people's mic? Are we okay with that? Consensus? Let's do this the proper way. All right. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. check. Thank you. Thank you. American veterans. American veterans. We're gonna march, uh, walk back out to 17th, and then we have the street all the way back up to. Uh,
The troops are home, yeah! <laughs> I would be there for the hearing. I uh, didn't know I'd see you today. I sent you an email for you. I have no clue. This is not coming about. This is everybody. Thanks, everybody that's still standing around <laughs> for uh, helping me. Thank you. Thank you. Great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for it. It was a little ad hoc, but I'm very happy to see you.